little girl is one of at least four people killed in a horrific crash in Kingsland, Georgia. Jeff Vallon is at the scene tonight telling us what people are saying about the tragedy. Yes, this road sign, which took some of the brunt of the crash, shows us that it happened near Mariner's Drive along Highway 40. We spoke with a woman who saw some of the aftermath, and she says drivers routinely exceed the 45 mile an hour speed limit. It's tragic. I mean, I thought about my, my daughter and my grandbaby. Tragic beyond measure as a three year old girl and three adults, including the driver, were killed when their Nissan Altima reportedly jumped the slightly raised concrete divider on Highway 40 in Kingsland about one o'clock Tuesday afternoon, slamming into an F-250 truck. A nine year old boy in the Nissan was taken to the hospital. The F-250 driver only slightly injured. The only thing I seen was the white pickup truck and the tires um, were on the opposite side, so it was on its roof. Police say a witness reported the Nissan speeding and passing them erratically before it jumped the median and into the eastbound lanes. They don't do 45. They do more 60 miles an hour on the strip and it's it's dangerous that they shouldn't be doing people walk all the time up and down this highway. We're still waiting to hear the condition of that nine year old boy as well as the names of the deceased. Now, that woman we interviewed pointed us to the Waffle House less than a mile down the road and an employee there told us with tears in her eyes that one of those adults killed was an employee there. In Kingsland, Jeff Ballin, First Coast News on your side.